George was split into two individuals. It's like yeah. he completely changed after the Jimmy Young and experience. And that's something that George felt like we really had to get right, what he experienced in that locker room. Because after he got out of that locker room, it was no more boxing. I want to ask you this first. Big George Foreman comes out in theaters on April 28th. And you've done your share of, of just different movies in your career. Ultimately, what made you want to work on this project? Yeah, I wanted to work on this film, man, because the story is just, you can't make this up, man. This is a real true story of a young man who was written off at an early age, becoming a heavyweight champion, and then losing it, and then winning it 20 years later after changing who he was and having a second chance in life. And along the ride, man, the roller coaster ride of life, and there's so many ups and downs and listening to George tell his story, I was on the edge of my seat. And that's what I felt like I wanted the audience to feel when they watched the movie as well. Absolutely. And one of the things that stood out um, in this movie is uh, obviously Chris Davis's portrayal as George Foreman, but also Sullivan Jones's portrayal as Muhammad Ali and, you know, those two working together. So how is it working with those two and seeing them in action? Yo, that, that was a really great process for me because I started off with those two. And, you know, we did auditions for uh, George and Ali almost near the, around the same time. So when I finally narrowed them down, I said, let's put them in a room. This during the pandemic. It was only through, you know, through Zoom, I was doing these auditions. So they flew out to LA and we put them in the room together. And right then I knew I was looking at the two guys that played this role. They were both dedicated just to get that fight, the choreography of the Ali fight, you know, hit from hit, move to move was very difficult. And their, their commitment was awesome. And with this film, the first hour talks about you know, George's early days, his childhood, his rise to the top. And then once that second hour hits, it talks about the second half of his career, being a minister, going back into the ring and, you know, beating Michael Moore to win the title for the second time. Did you feel like this movie was kind of split into two films? Yeah, I always felt that way because George was split into two individuals. It's like yeah. he completely changed after the Jimmy Young and experience. And that's something that George felt like we really had to get right, what he experienced in that locker room. Because after he got out of that locker room, it was no more boxing. And as a filmmaker, I was like, wow, your impressions, the way you see things, the way you experience life is going to feel different, it's going to look different. And as a director, I try to give the audience that subjective point of view of what it's like to walk away and having a brightness in your life. But at any time, can that come back? Can that old anger come back? And it, George was able to hold that down and continue on with his life. And that's how I wanted to have people experience the film. And when people watch this film on April 28th, there's going to be fans who know all about George Foreman in terms of his boxing career. Then there's going to be another generation of fans who just know George Foreman from being uh, the grill guy, being the founder of George Foreman Grill. Ultimately, what do you want fans to take away from this film when they start watching it on April 28th? I think what you can take away is that anything is possible. Right. Like uh, George says it, he's like he, the, the grill, whoever expected the grill to be that successful. Right. Whoever expected a 46 year old man to win the championship belt, you know, after 20 years later. Um, those are the certain things that as an audience, you know, as a director, I want the audience to walk away, walk away first being entertained and seeing the roller coaster ride, but then to walk away with something inspiring. Well, George, I have to say I enjoyed the film. Uh, I think everyone did a great job on it. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continue success to you. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.